Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I want to show you why I believe your reviews are being removed. It's just my theory. Watch this. This video is dedicated to my friend Darren Marion who passed away November 14th, 2021. I really miss you, Darren. I love you, brother. Reviews are a major ranking factor. Having the uh, keyword in the review, the location, the brand name, even the person who, who uh, serviced you or helped you in the review is really a major trust ranking factor from Google. So having your reviews removed, even good reviews, having, having good reviews removed will hurt your rankings. If you have enough of your re reviews removed, they're going to hurt your rankings. You're going to drop in the rankings. So one of the big factors today is that, you know, Google is removing your reviews. And as I've said, you know, a thousand times, I am not a scientist. Uh, I, ha I have some college. I don't have an engineering or a science, a science degree. So I, you know, let me just put that straight out. However, I like to get information out as soon as possible, put it out there. And then this way, uh, somebody else could take it to the next step. If you like, I'm not going to wait six months, do all kinds of ex uh, experiments and then put something out. And then after that, Google changes the algorithm. So let me do it while it's hot and let me give you my ideas. And then maybe you could take it to the next level. Here's my idea. If we look to the image to the left, most people get a review right? You get a review on your business, Mindsaw. I worked with Brad over at Mindsaw, a local SEO, you know, and um, they get a review and all. And what I do is I just respond to the review. Okay. Hey, thank you, John, for uh, giving me such a great review. I look forward to working with you. I like working with you. And, you know, that's the end of it. Uh, but what is it that Google wants you to do to review? They don't only want you to respond to the review. Google actually gives you other options as to what you can do with the review. And I believe in the next slide, I believe that if you protect the review, meaning that if you, if you do the other four or five things that Google's asking you to do, it's going to be harder, though not impossible, for Google to take your review down. All right, so let's move over to the right-hand side, and we'll go one at a time. Well, Google uh, wants you to respond to the review. And responding to the review, it, it doesn't matter if you add keywords to your response. So you could add the word local SEO or local plumber. It doesn't matter, right? So, But they do want you to respond to the review in a reasonable amount of time, right? Now, after that, after you respond to the review, did anybody like the review? Right? Was it helpful to anyone else? So right away after re responding to the review, hit the like, the thumbs up. Have the client, if they can, hit the thumbs up. Have more than one people hit the thumbs up. Have them like the review. Take that review and share that review on social. Google gives you, as you can see, Google gives you the ability to share that review. So share it on social. You could also embed that review. So what I would do is I would I would have like you know Weebly sites, Tumblr sites, um, anywhere you we do a Fiverr gig, and have those in, uh, reviews embedded in other websites, right? Because that shows that that people are sharing. And, the, and that review is helpful. Now, here's another idea that I thought of, which was add the review to, the, to your website. Have a section in your footer that says something like, uh, here's what clients are saying about our business. Or here, clients, clients say this about our business. What clients say about our business? You know, what, what clients say about our business? I guess that's a better way to say it. When they click the link, all your reviews are on that page. It doesn't have to be in the top navigation. It could be in your footer. Here's what clients have to say. When they click that link, 
it goes directly to uh, a page with all your embedded reviews. So add that on your website. When you create a YouTube video, add a section in the description that says, uh, here's what clients have to say. And add several reviews to your Google descript your YouTube description. Just copy the links and put them in your YouTube video. Now, will that totally protect your reviews? I don't know. I don't know 100%. However, I do know that you're doing more with the review than just responding to the review. I think when you just respond to the review, just like this diagram shows, the sharp shark comes up and just eats your review. The Google shark comes, eats your review, and that's the end of the story, right? Because it's not protected by anything. It's, it's not helping anyone else, right? If you do these other six steps, I believe you're doing what Google wants, wants you to do and what you know a regular person will do. They'll share the review. They'll embed the review. They'll put it on social media, right? So that's what I want you to do. Why don't you try that? When you get a new review, do these six steps and uh, put it in the comment box, see if that helped. Guys, this is just my theory, right? Uh, somebody may take this theory and take it to the next level. I've done a couple of videos like this where I have an idea, I want to get it out there, and then I notice that somebody else takes that idea, makes a video about it, and does it, and, and, and improves upon it. That's great. That's what that's what we're all about. We're all about. It's all about community. It's all about putting stuff out there and helping, and not being the end all be all to every single problem. That you have the problem and you have the solution to everything. I don't have the solution to everything. I know what the problems are. I know how to solve some of the problems, but maybe if I put it out there, maybe somebody else could take it to the next level. Somebody like Chris Palmer or William Jones or uh, this fellow Brock Misner, very smart guy, really smart guy. You know, people like that could take it and bring it to the next level and, uh, you know, do some experiments on it and see if that works. But it, it has to be better than just responding to a review. I think if you just respond to a review, I don't think you're protecting you. Think about it. When you get a review, I want you to now think about, I have to protect that review. How do I protect that review? Not only respond to it, but like it. Have other people like it. Share the review. Embed the review. Add the review to your website. Right? What people are saying about us. Right? And uh, add that review to YouTube in the description link. You know, people... people also say about this is what also this is what people also say about about uh, XYZ business right I hope that video helped if there's anything that I could do to help you see my cell phone number here feel free shoot me a text if you'd like to work with me on a consultation business I can take a look at your website show you exactly what you need or what I feel you need to rank in the Google 3 pack uh, it'll probably save you a year's worth of time of watching videos um, if you don't have time to make the changes to your website, or you don't have the means necessary, you know, I have a full team that can handle your project. I'd be happy to work on your website. Um, please take care of your family. Kiss your wife. Kiss your kids. Be good to your family. Clean up around your house. Uh, throw out the garbage. Get out, off your computer every hour to help out around the house. Don't sit there like a, a potted plant where you don't move. And... Uh, if you're over 50 years old, please get a cardiac CT scan. It could save your life. It could predict a heart attack up until 15 years after. Very simple to do. Go to your primary care doctor. Say, I'd like a prescription for a cardiac CT scan. They'll give you the prescription. You bring it over to a cardiologist, and they do it. I believe it's less than 100 I have insurance, so I don't know. But you know, I, I believe it's less than $100 for them to do that test. You go get the test, and if you're good, you know you're good for the next, you know, next uh, 15 years or so. That's that's what doctors say, 15 years or so. So, you know, you need peace of mind, man. You need peace of mind. You, we love SEO, we love our family, but we have to take care of ourselves first. Because if we don't take care of ourselves first, then all the rest is going to go. And I learned that lesson through my friend Darren. You know, uh, I really wish that, you know, he had a health problem. And I, I don't know if there was much more that he could have done. Uh, but, but uh, you know, 
he spent all his time on his business and his family and you know now he's not here and i don't want that to happen to you all right guys i wish you guys the best i really appreciate you watching my videos if you're watching my videos you're trying to improve your business and i'm telling you 2022 and 2023 are going to be your year i guarantee that guys have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow